our our halls look absolutely fabulous. Yeah. You know? Thought there'd be more candles than that though. Hmm. I mean, look at these this decoration here. I mean, dragon dragon decor was definitely the way to go. Um, right, so we're gonna start off with judging people. Adamant's influence continues, your worship. I submit Lord Livius Erimond of Virantium, who remains loyal to Corypheus. We mm. found him alive, offering extreme resistance, likely because the Order will ask for his head. In more colorful terms. To mm. say nothing of justice you might personally require for what was suffered in the Fade. Many places felt the pain of Adamant. He will answer for a great deal. I recognize none of this proceeding. You have no authority to judge me. On the contrary, oh, I do. many officials have communicated that they will defer to the Inquisitor on this matter. Because they fear, not just Corypheus, but Tevinta, rightful ruler of every piece of ground you trod in your pathetic life. Mm. I serve the living You're not making your case any better. Bring down your blades and free me from the physical. Glory awaits me. Oh, it doesn't. Hmm. Oh, I think he would fear that worse. He wants to be killed? Uh -uh. Let's make him suffer. You are the worst of us. The damage you have done is beyond all reckoning. A major's crime, a major's punishment. Lord Livius Eremond of Arantium, I deny you death. Tranquility. You... You cannot! <laughs> Our Lord, you pissants! I will not lose myself! Yes, you will. Bye-bye! He wants death. It'll make a martyr out of him. Who else are we judging? Another of the lingering pains of Adamant, your worship. Sir Ruth is a senior warden of the Order. She was one okay. of the many who slit the throat of another to bind a demon. She does not contest this. Okay. In fact, she surrendered to us. She requests no mercy. She wants the public justice of the headman's axe. I'm you yeah. are free to rejoin your comrades, and yet you present yourself here. There is no excuse for my actions. I murdered another of the Order. That blood marks me more than the Blight ever could. Accepting their actions while thralls of Corypheus, many treaties allow wardens any extreme if it opposes the Blight. I can't do it. I can't use the greater good to justify my crimes, as if it would create a future I could be a part of. It is wrong that this broke me. I've done worse with full sanction. I can do nothing except be an example of the cost. Um. Oh. If we send her to the deep roads. You feel your yeah. life is over? There's a place for such wardens. Sir Ruth, you'll go to the deep roads. Your death may be as quick as you choose. This sends no message. This is just... an end. Oh well. What a shame. You can do some help for the dwarves. Ah. Uh, you know what? We're gonna, we're gonna redo that one. So I feel like if we did the Andraste if it gives you thing, what will she do? I'm not happy with that that um, result there. Oh, what am I doing down here? Right then. Let's save here. <laughs> there we go. Because she really feels like she should be a message. 
Adamant, we found but to say why? nothing of justice you might. Many places I recognize none. On the contrary, many officials have communicated that they will defer to the Inquisitor on this matter. Because they fear <coughs> not just Corypheus, but Taventa, rightful ruler of every piece of ground. I serve the living God. Bring down your blades and free me from the See, physical. because glory awaits me. That gives him a chance to escape. Dying by me like he gets the death he wants. He becomes a martyr. Giving him to the wardens, they're going to call for his death. Uh, but by making him tranquil, that's a fate worse than death for him. Yeah, I'm going to stick with that one. You are the worst of us. The damage you have done is beyond all reckoning. A major's crime, a major's punishment. You... Right, so, yeah, I still feel satisfied with sending him to be tranquil there. Now this and one. In fact, she surrendered to us. She requ You're very serious about this. Is more death the answer? There is no excuse for my actions. Accepting their actions while thralls of Corypheus, many treaties are- I can't do it. I can't use the greater good to justify my crime. It is wrong that this broke me. I've done worse with full sanction. I can do nothing except be an example of the cost. The Inquisition oh, for stands sake. for... Sometimes we need a reminder. Sir Ruth? Your worship, I... Solus just isn't happy with me, whatever I do. So... You yeah, know? Let's go make sure he's all good with us. Because <sighs> remember, we are romancing the fellow. We're not going to get far if we keep on having him disapprove of us. Your worship. My heart. We'll talk later. Okay, he's Go still around. good with us. Everyone else can go suck a lemon. Um, oh, which way? More tables this way. Um. Sorry, I had to think what I was doing then. Right, okay. Let's grab that. Here the mayor have been found. When he comes in, stick him in the holding cells. Let him stew there until the... Okay, we'll all bring him out for judgment then as well. This what happened in Adamant is a shame. I'm still reeling over the army of demons. Imagine what would have happened if the Inquisitor hadn't arrived. Um. Okay, the missing seekers, that is important. Um. Because we've got a couple of, uh, oh, let's see, aiming module. Let's give a spy. The Inquisition has some nerve. The one we had locked up in. Okay, did we get her out, though, is the question. Uh, name of our enemy. Our soldiers handled themselves well in Adamant. We've come a long way since Haven. I fear there's uh, still a way according to According to Dorian, it might be possible to discover who Corpus once was. Knowing he was human could make him less attractive to Devinter's zealots who think of him as a god. Acquiring this information, however, is more difficult than one might suppose. Such ancient information could be found in the Magisterium's library in Menrathos, but the Grand Archivist has so far replied to our messages with polite misdirection. Dorian says he is the king of this particular castle and knows it. He might be blocking our efforts uh, out of allegiance to Corypheus or simply because he can. Uh, go around him.
I'm gonna take Josephine's word on that. It's gonna take longer, but it's this. Uh College of Magi, which entered the outbreak, was the philosophical, yeah. And mostly abandoned. Come refugees. Anaxus. How do we know that name? Let's uh, get this on me then. Ooh. Where is it? Okay, the missing secret. There it is. You can have that. Right, so both people are busy for that. work. All right, off your trot. Right then, so off we go. We have to reach the Empress before Corythius. The only question is, how? We know how. I have our way in. The real question is, where is our enemy hiding? At the urging of Grand Duchess Florian, the Empress is holding a ball. Absolutely everyone will be there. During the festivities, Céline will be meeting for peace talks with the usurper Duke Gaspard and Ambassador Briala. The assassin must be hiding within one of these factions. Do we need to go to the peace talks? The Empress must have personal guards. We could just warn her she's in danger. We've made the attempt, but... It seems that our messages never reached her. Someone intercepted them. It's better that we don't leave mm. this to chance. If Orlais falls to Corypheus, no land is safe. What do we know about Duke Gaspard? The man who would have been Emperor. He's Céline's cousin, and was first in line to inherit the throne when Emperor Florian died. Céline outmaneuvered him. She won over the Council of Heralds, who hold authority over title disputes. She became Empress, and he a general in the Imperial Army. He's well loved by the troops. He's also a chevalier. Most of their number sided with him when he turned on the Empress. Aren't the chevaliers part of the army? Why would they follow the Duke? Most chevaliers are sworn to serve the crown, but that does not give them faith in the person wearing it. The Empress has tried That's to improve fair. relations with Ferelden and Navarra. The chevaliers see her as anti-military. They believe Gaspard could lead the Empire back to the glory of Draken's expansion years. Who is this Ambassador Briala? An ambassador in name only. She has organized the elves of Halam Sheral into an underground army. The Empress invited her to the peace talks in a bid to gain the elves' alliance in the war. That would be scandal enough, without the rumor that Briala is a jilted lover of Selene's. A personal grudge and a network of sabotage at her command? Eh, promising lead. Wait. The elven leader is a jilted lover of the Empress. It's not widely known. 
Just a rumor whispered among the palace servants a few years ago. If it's true and where to get out, the Empress and an elf. Hmm. The scandal could destroy Celine's court. Even if a lie. Sounds like they like gossip. Use it to blackmail the Empress. She has some connection to the throne. Tell me everything we know about the Empress. Empress Celine is a renowned diplomat and reformer. She works tirelessly to secure peace for the Empire. Unfortunately, many Orlesians view peace as complacency. She has yet to name an heir, leaving the future of the Empire in doubt if anything happens to her. Especially when the next in line is her cousin Gaspard, who's made few friends on the Council of Herons. Celine is surrounded at all times by countless guards, courtiers, servants, and vassals. What better place for an assassin to hide than the Empress's own household? How can Gaspard still be next in line while he wages war against his Empress? The title Grand Duke indicates that he was a prince before the Empress took the throne. You've given me plenty mm. to think about. So much Gaspard and Celine's armies so. entrenched. We cannot openly <coughs> march troops to the palace. My agents will ensure your soldiers get inside. But it must be a few at a time to avoid attention. Understood. Just give the word. We'll begin. Let's go then. Off we trot. Oh, cool. Varric's got a new picture. We haven't done hers though, it looks. Shivavalta, my daughter, I regretted the way we parted from the moment you left Orzma. Words I spoke showing the ancestors in our house. Your mother still won't speak to me. Yesterday I passed by a funeral for a legionnaire. Oi, I'm reading that. Look, you don't have to turn the screen to black. The political situation in Halam Shiral hangs by a thread. The Empress fears our presence could sever it. The Grand Duke is only too happy to have us at the ball as his guests, so our invitation comes from him. Whether we act as his allies or upset the balance of power, he gains an opportunity, if not a clear advantage. Don't we really look It is spanking. a great pleasure to meet you, Inquisitor Lavellen. The rumors coming out of the Western Approach say you battled an army of demons. Imagine what the Inquisition could accomplish with the full support of the rightful Emperor of Orle. Really? You know who he is? I can see many benefits to such an alliance. Keep the image go, firmly in mind. We may see it materialize by the end of the evening. I am not a man who forgets his friends, Inquisitor. You help me, I'll help you. My lady, are you prepared to shock the court by walking into the Grand Ball with a hateful usurper? They will be telling stories of this into the next age. I can't imagine that crowd has seen anything better than us in their entire lives. You're a woman after my own heart, my lady. As a friend, perhaps there is a matter you could undertake this evening. This elven woman, Briara, I suspect that she intends to disrupt the negotiations. My people have found these ambassadors all over the fortifications. Sabotage seems the least of their crimes. That sounds like something I should look into. Be as discreet as possible. Discreet? Me? I detest no. the game. But if we do not play it well, our enemies will make us look like villains. We're keeping the court waiting, Inquisitor. Shall we? 
let me just look around first. Is that the Inquisitor? An elf savage? Oh, make a forbid. This is Gaspard's idea you. of a joke. Yes, I get that because I'm fucking elven. I should look around. Mika, what am I going to do if I cannot find my ring? Is this the ring you are looking for? I wonder though. Let me just quickly do this. Because I know that if you interrupt their conversation about the elven savage. Um, wait, Might be something it? here. Better take a closer look. Mm. Right, we'll make do. Yeah, so if, you, if you're an you elf do, or anything other than ring. human, you automatically get that uh, Is this minus for? You are of a court treasure. approval. I cannot believe you found it. You have saved me a life. Enjoy the party. Is that the Inquisitor? A Danish? No, that cannot be. Excuse you. Dress. That is a pretty dress. Can I have that dress? Do I have to be wearing trousers? I want that dress. I everyone else's dress sucks. See? Grand oh, everyone's wearing the same outfit. Where has that servant gone? Elves always shirking their duties. Okay. Let's go find a Halla step. Storage key. What the frick has a storage key? Excuse you. Oh, I got a storage key. Hmm. Any word from the front lines? My spies said the bodies were beyond counting. Surely the Empress will put an end to the war tonight. Pray, my friend. If the Maker does not hear us now, just pray. Right, so I at least have the storage key. So let's do something with that first. Secrets. Oh. A priest coin. Oh, we had those in um, number two. You Where toss them into a fountain. God, I hate this place already. So judgmental. Oh, everything. I'm gonna rob everybody while we're here, you know? All 
what the law says here. Maker, I hope not. Oh, the Dulances. We know those. Inquisitor, a moment, if you please. I must warn uh. you before you go inside. How you speak to the court is a matter of life and death. It is no simple matter of people? etiquette and protocol. Every word, every gesture is measured and evaluated for weakness. Don't they sound delightful? I'm shocked we haven't invited the court to dinner at Skyhold. The game is like Wicked Grace played to the death. You must never reveal your cards. When you meet the Empress, the Yay. eyes of the entire court will be upon you. You are safer in the Fade with the Fear Demon. Probably. You're just full of joy and light this evening. Everything will be fine. <laughs> you sound like you're bracing yourself there, Rusty Josie. Watch over us all. <laughs> Not that bad. I probably won't smack too many people. Let's go. What is Gaspar up to? It wouldn't surprise me. Seriously, did you, you get a look at the steps? I think they're gilded. So we got Cassandra, Cullen. Oh, doesn't Cullen look all dapper? It will take some time to get our men into the palace. I'll alert you when we're ready. The sooner we go in, the sooner we can get this over with. God, it feels weird to see my normal people in uh, fancy stuff. I have heard they are the finest in the Empire. But such a pity the wing is sealed. Where's it here? Can I go in here? Uh. How long can Orzammar hold out with trade disrupted? Not long. The last dispatch said they were riding in the time of the food shortages. Lock from the other side. Wait, there's another door there. Ugh. Interesting. Oh. Let's go eavesdropping. Boring. I heard the Grand Duke invited the Inquisition here. Hmm. What's with the hmm? The guest wing is not open to the public at this time, Inquisitor. Oh, right, okay. I wish there was more news coming from the Grand Good news is becoming an increasing. And now presenting Grand Duke Gaspard de Chalon and accompanying him Lady Inquisitor Lavellen. She's wearing a lovely dress. Shepherd and leash of the wayward order of Templars, purge of the heretics from the ranks of the faithful. This guy writes better fiction than I do. Champion of the Blessed Andraste <laughs> herself. <laughs> Did you see their faces? Priceless. Accompanying the Inquisitor, 
Seeker, Cassandra, Allegra, Portia, Calogera, Philomena. Get on with it. Pantagos, <laughs> fourteenth cousin to the King of Navarra, nine times removed, hero of Orlais, right hand of the divine, renowned author, Varric Dethrys. What about Cullen? Noble house Tethrus, Desher of Kirkwall to the Dwarven Merchants Guild. The Lady Inquisitor's elven serving man, Solus. Sir Cullen Stanton Rutherford of Homley, Commander of the Forces of the Inquisition. Former Knight Commander of Kirkwall. Lady Liliana, Nightingale of the Imperial Court. Veteran of the Fifth Light. Seneschal of the Inquisition and left hand of the Divine. And Lady Josephine Charette Montillier of Antiva City. Excuse me, no, 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 go back to when you insulted Solas. You insulted my boy Solas. He ain't no manservant. Cousin, my dear sister. Grand Duke. We are always honored when your presence graces our court. Don't waste my time with pleasantries, Celine. We have business to conclude. We will meet for the negotiations after we have seen to our other guests. Inquisitor? Lady Inquisitor, we welcome you to the Winter Palace. Allow us to present our cousin, the Grand Duchess of Leeds, without whom this gathering would never have been possible. What an unexpected pleasure. I was not aware the Inquisition would be part of our festivities. We will certainly speak later, Inquisitor. Your arrival at court is like a cool wind on a summer's day. I am delighted to be here, Your Majesty. We have heard much of your exploits, Inquisitor. They have made grand tales for long evenings. How do you find Halam Shiral? I've never seen anything to equal the Winter Palace. We hope you will find time to take in some of its beauty. Feel free to enjoy the pleasures of the ballroom, Inquisitor. We look forward to watching you dance. Inquisitor, a word when you have a moment. Tell me. How are my mind, Papa? Are they in good health? Do they want for anything? Papa's perfectly happy in the studio. Mother is the same as always. Meaning she's after you to do more work. You always take her side. I don't take her side. I happen to think, as she does, you might attend to more of the estate's duties. Also, do stop slouching. Mm -hmm. Josephine! Oh, Josephine! Is this her? <sighs> Inquisitor, please allow me to present to you my younger sister, Yvette Gabriella Montillier. There can never be too many Lady Montilliers in Thedas, can there? <laughs> Inquisitor, I've heard so much about you, but not as much as I want. Josephine writes, but she never tells me anything. Is it true you found the Red Templars sacrificing heretics and drinking blood from mages' veins? Yvette! Um, what? Everyone in Antifa City is saying so. Is it true? Hmm. Oh, it was awful. Mage bones everywhere, practically a carpet of skulls over a river of blood. Yeah. How oh, awful. <sighs> <laughs> This may be my only chance to hear about when Josephine was a girl. Oh, yes. As she told you about when she was ten and... Yvette. Stop. Fine. Uh, what about when we were climbing the cliffs by the... No. She once told the Duke of... Absolutely not. Hmm. She still plays with us... Come on, you gotta give me something. When no one's looking. Yvette. That's... <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely preposterous. <laughs> Which power should the Inquisition throw its weight behind? Celine has held the throne successfully for years. I see no profit in ousting her. Gaspard has run military campaigns, but never a kingdom. 
His transition would be, let us say, chaotic. Enjoying the ball? I see many of them. The dancing is so dull, your worship, but the Empress's gallery is magnificent. Yvette. Sorry, Josie. Go on, Josephine. Half our royal must be empty, so many of the Empire's finest are in attendance. They've noticed the Empress paying you special attention, but they don't quite know how to take advantage of it yet. This uncertainty won't last long, I'm afraid. Tell me about yourself, Lady Yvette. This is the first time I've encountered any of Josephine's family. She would forget to mention the artists. I've been studying painting under Antiva's royal tutors. You should be proud, Josie. I'm going to be exhibiting my work next season in the city's biggest salon. Have you actually sat down and finished the painting yet? I must wait for my inspiration. And I must wait for your tutor's bits. <laughs> I'll see you later. Another time. Right, guys, we're going to leave the video here for the moment. Um, because I know that we this is going to be a big mission. So, um, I hope you've enjoyed so far. It's a beautiful place here. Um, I would take off the... Yeah, screw it, let's take that off. Um, if you've enjoyed it, hit that like and subscribe button. And as always, we shall see you in the next video. Bye for now.